It's been eight months since I actually had to do a repair of the motor and the motherboard. And that's worked very well. But shortly after that, we started having a problem with the incline. So when I use, when I put the incline up to 10, we're gonna start hearing that creaking noise. Should be able to hear that right now. So what did we have to do? We had to go ahead and call Nordic Track again. And guess what they did? They sent me the part, but unfortunately, I'm gonna to have to go ahead and change out the incline motor. So I'm gonna do that in a second. So we got the package from Nordic Track. This is the incline motor. I'm gonna show you exactly what we received. Here's their little packing slip. Told me exactly what they have. Opened it up. Um, wrapped up in paper. The actual incline motor. Here we go. There it is. And in addition to that, they did send some instructions. So I'm gonna actually go through this and do it for you guys. So stay tuned and more to come. All right, so we had to move the Nordic track out and I'll show you the next step that you're gonna to have to do as well. So now we had to tip it over on its side and here is the incline motor that I'm gonna to have to work on. All right, so the first thing you have to do is you have to remove this cover and there are four screws that you have to remove. And once you remove those four screws, you're gonna take this housing off. All right, so after you take the case off, you're gonna to have to go ahead and remove some wires. So for the top one up here is the red, and the bottom one is the black, and then you have these other two connections. So it's always good for you to take a picture of what you do before uh, you, you unplug everything, but you are gonna to have to take some wires out of there. And now the next step is going to go ahead and remove these screws. There's one on this end and there's one back here. So I'm gonna remove those right now and then line up the new motor. All right, so I've removed the motor. This is the old one right here. And the other thing that was in the package I didn't show you is they actually gave you four new bushings. So go ahead and remove the old ones, take an, a screwdriver, pop that old one out, and then make sure you go ahead and put the new one in. Why not put the new material in? In right. a second, I'm gonna go ahead and install the new motor and uh, put the screws back in, secure it, put the casing back on, and we'll turn this thing over and we'll be ready and we'll see if it works. All right, so I'll check right back with you. All right, so the incline motor is in place. All the screws have been tightened, the cover has been put placed back on, so we're ready to go. So we're gonna turn this thing over and we're gonna calibrate it and let's hear how it sounds. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and calibrate it. We've turned the machine over. What you do is you go into your settings, click on settings. You wanna hit maintenance and then calibrate incline. Let's try it again. Yes, and let's begin. All right, here we go. It's very important that you do not stay on your machine while you're calibrating the incline. So now you can hear, we're not hearing that noise on the incline right now, so it sounds pretty good. All right, so the calibration complete. So go ahead and hit the finish button. You're done. Let's go back and let's just go ahead to a setting. I'm gonna do a manual start. And here we go. Here we go, loading the workout. I, I, it doesn't matter. Let's go ahead. I'm gonna hit a 10 degree incline. It's not making that noise, so I guess it was a success. All right, so here are my final comments. I'm still gonna tell you, don't buy this stuff. And, and since we did our last thing, you know Peloton has had its issues as well. So here's my recommendation. Just go out and get a standard treadmill. Get yourself a nice iPad. There's plenty of apps out there that will put you through plenty of programs for your treadmill. The only difference is that you're gonna to have to manually make the adjustment to the speed and the incline on your treadmill. But I gotta tell you, this one, I've replaced the motor, the motherboard, and now I've replaced the incline motor. So what is next? Who knows? I got stuck with it. My wife does love it. She uses it a lot, but I'll just tell you, do not buy this. So signing off until we have to fix something else. So see you soon.